Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Today I'm going to give you 10 tips for van stealth camping. These tips I've come up with from camping all over the New Jersey shore this summer, and I didn't stay in campgrounds. Number one is prepare where you're going to stay and get there early. Now this isn't always possible, but if you can try to have in mind where you're going to park for the night, you don't want to be driving around in the dark, stopping to read every sign, driving up and down the streets. Now this is going to raise some suspicion. Number two, park somewhere safe. If you're in a bad neighborhood or town, it's best to park in places where you feel safe and secure. Keep clear of any signs that say no overnight parking, private property, or no trespassing. People can also become suspicious of a strange vehicle near their property. No one likes the look of a van parked near a school or playground. Number three, park in spaces where you are not noticed. Now this could be blending in with other cars around you parked where you don't stand out. You want to be in the shadows. You don't want to seem creepy, so definitely use your judgment to make decisions that will least affect locals and keep you safe. Some people prefer to park under well-lit areas. Some people rather park in darker areas. Just remember to keep your activities outside of the car a minimum. Number four, park somewhere flat or close to level. Now this is mostly overlooked and I sometimes have ended up sleeping with my feet above my head, which is very uncomfortable. Also, my shower drain is on the roadside of the vehicle, so when I park downtown and I'm on the crown of the road, the shower doesn't drain properly. To remedy this, I purchased leveling blocks that originally came bright orange, but I have painted them flat black so they don't stand out. Number five, have a clear escape route or exit. Always park so you can have a quick exit if you get in any trouble. Never park behind any gates because it could be closed overnight. And make sure your door is open in case of emergency and you need to get out. If you're parallel parking, make sure you have enough buffer between the cars front and back of you for a quick departure. Number six, stay quiet and keep lights to a minimum. You don't want to draw attention to yourself when you're stealth camping and you'll want to try to blend in and look like, just like every other vehicle. You'll probably want to avoid playing music and TV and try not to make it obvious that you're in your vehicle by keeping quiet as possible and the lights dimmed. Don't hang around outside your vehicle with the doors open, place chairs outside, cook outside, or leave your awning out. Number seven, get familiar with your surroundings. Make sure the spot is safe from passing cars, not blocking any streets or driveways. It's also good to make sure that you're not parked somewhere where something will keep you awake all night, like a construction site, trucks, passerbyers, or a train. Number eight, get out early. Move your vehicle before people start their day. This avoids being noticed and allows you to move somewhere a little bit more private to have your morning coffee, do emails, and prepare yourself for your day. Number nine, don't park in the same place. If you're going to be in the area for a while, don't park in the same spot night after night. Keep moving. You want to avoid people from noticing the same vehicle in their town and then getting suspicious. And number 10 is always be mindful, leave no trace, be respectful to authorities and others, and be safe. Well, this is Patrick from New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, share, subscribe. I'd love it, and we'll see you soon.